The Mickey Mouse Club presents The Adventures of Clint and Mac. Today's episode, The Forgotten Clue. I can't believe that jolly old chap, Mr. Toby, is a spiv. What's a spiv? In police talk, it's slang for a low character. But he gave us a quarter. Surely a spiv wouldn't give us two bits. I hope you're right. But Mr. Toby's gone and so's his car and so's our package. This isn't getting it back. You must have some big ideas. You're an American. But you're the one with a cop in the family. Start thinking. Where's my parcel? We gave it to your secretary. My secretary? That scoundrel? I fired him yesterday. You were told to deliver that package to me. You weren't here, sir. You were told to wait. Take it easy, mister. Isn't your secretary, Mr. Toby, honest? Honest? That's why I sacked him. For being honest? Because he's a low character. He'll probably sell my writing portfolio to the first leather good shop. Very sorry. He seems such a nice man. Fine time to be sorry. Relax, mister. You'll get over it. Get out of here before I... I shall have to tell my father about Mr. Smith. What did he do except blow his top? Did you notice that bulge under his coat? No. That was a gun. There couldn't be another one like it in London. Chip has left our parcel. Maybe it's in this compartment. It will be too wide. How about under the back seat? No. Wait a bit. I have another possible clue. So far, you've been batting zero. The business card we found by the curb. But you said that was no good. Ah, but I remember the leather goods shop. Say, the portfolio was leather. Mr. Smith said he might try to sell it. Oh, dear, I wish I hadn't thrown it away. Try to remember. Father always says try to remember a keyword. Keyword? I got it, key. Keyworth Street. Keyworth Street, Kennington. Say, for an Englishman, you're pretty hap. Thanks very much. Come to think of it, that guy, Mr. Smith, got awfully excited over a plain little leather writing portfolio. Strange. I was thinking the same thing. Look, we're wasting time. Come on. Of course, if you ever go to London, you shouldn't try boarding a bus this way. You're apt to have the cops after you. But Clint and Mac have no time to think about that. Their mission is urgent. Say, what's this? Whoever she is, she seems to be taking a lot of interest in Clinton Mac. You're an American. Yes, 
understand you, young man. You're British, of course. Of course. <laughs> My brother, the Reverend Lawford Jewett, went out to the Americas as a missionary. That was many years ago. Yes, sir. It was to New York or New Orleans or some such place. I know it began with N. You wouldn't have met him, I'm afraid. No. Ah, that was it. No. He said it's frightfully cold there. I'll say. That's in Alaska. We were stationed there. Ceiling zero. Airfield all sucked in like frozen pea soup. Crates iced up all same like banana split. Ah, ah well. I still don't agree that all Americans are barbarians. Any more faces? Thank you. Two to Keyboard Street, Kennington, please. Thank you. Change. Thank you. Thank you. We are now in Regent Street, the fashion center of the world. I always think Regent Street is so beautiful with its fine, sweeping girls. Yes, it sure is beautiful. Now, look. This is Piccadilly Circus. And there in the center is the statue of Eros, the little god of love. Yes, ma'am. It's very pretty. We call Piccadilly Circus the hub of the world. Back home, we call Boston the hub city. We were stationed there, too. Station. Station. Yes, my father's a captain in the United States Air Force. I do hope for your sake he stays out of airplanes. They're so dangerous. Now we're coming to something which makes every Englishman's heart beat just a little faster. Trafalgar Square, with its national monument to Horatio Lord Nelson, hero of Trafalgar. I know. He said, England expects every man to do his duty. Oh, very good. Very good. Oh, splendid. You know, I'm beginning to understand almost everything he said. How much longer does this go on? It won't be much longer. Now we're coming into Whitehall. Here are most of the government departments. Just over there, the war office. You should see our Pentagon. My father had duty there, but it burned him up. I don't wonder. I've heard Americans always have too much heat in their offices. Dad likes to fly, but he always says, how can you fly a desk in the Pentagon? Yes, most difficult, I should think. But there are the famous horse guards. That's their headquarters. They form the Queen's bodyguard on state occasions. It sure is interesting, ma'am. It would be even more interesting if we didn't have to chase that package. How much further is this Keyworth Street? Not far. Just across the river. Good. Now we're coming into Parliament Square. Have you been here yet? Yes, ma'am. Oh, over there is Westminster Abbey. Have you been there? Yes, ma'am. Twice. You know, Parliament is where we make our laws. It's very like that, um, oh, what's the name of that place in, um, uh, uh, what's that city? It's like the capital in Washington, D.C. Yes, that's it, of course. Uh, oh, look, now we're crossing the River Thames. And there in the distance you can see the beautiful dome of St. Paul's Cathedral. And uh, to the right of it, London Bridge. London Bridge. How often has it appeared in English literature? When I was a kid, we used to sing about it falling down. Ridiculous. It's perfectly sound. There's the Tower of London. That's where the Queen's crown and the royal state jewels are kept. Oh, dear. Thinking of the Tower always makes me sad. That's where the poor little prince was imprisoned. Poor Charlie. Not right before his birthday. Not our prince. That was 400 years ago. Here we are. Just wait one minute, one minute, one minute. Yeah. 
Just two shillings for you. And the same for you. A reward in advance. They've been very careful in trusting with the key. Gee, thanks a lot, ma'am. Thanks very much. Next episode, Looking for Trouble. <laughs>